loves it's monica and this is the start of a new cozy reading vlog it is the start of a weekend and i'm just so excited for all of my reading plans i don't know about you guys but i have been seeing a collection of certain novels over and over again on my for you page on instagram like across all social media of like the same few like autumnal cozy reads and i kind of just want to read all of them see if they're worth reading let you guys know so that's what this video is so my goal in this video is to bring you all along in a cozy fall weekend in my life it is officially october which is crazy bring you along and then also just share how i get along with some of these very hyped up cozy books so i only currently have one in my possession and that is You Again by Kate Goldbeck and this gets compared I see a lot to like Nora Ephron films anything like you've got mail or what's the other one that I'm blanking on anyways you know what I'm talking about that's sort of the vibe that I've heard this compared to and the cover obviously is giving like ultimate autumnal Vibes. So this is the first one and I believe the premise for this is that these two people have like both have like a crush on the same girl and they keep meeting each other over the years and just like antagonize each other so they're kind of like enemies to lovers kind of vibes or hate to love and then they keep running into each other over the years and antagonizing each other and then they like build a friendship and all of that stuff so very very intrigued for this one i'm not usually a romance reader so that is a bit of a stretch for me but i love Nora efron so and then i'm about to go get ready and then head out so that i can run and do some errands and while i'm out i'm gonna stop by target because they have the spell shop in stock and this one is supposed to be a really cute cozy fantasy i'll talk more about it when i get it so i'll talk about that later and then lastly i have a package on its way to me with a copy of the pumpkin spice cafe which is supposed to be a like gilmore girls style cozy novel autumnal cozy novels so yeah i don't know i am excited for all of these i feel like all of these books are ones that i see constantly like as almost like props in people's like cozy fall content not in a bad way just like that's all i see i don't really see people talking about if they're actually like good so that's what i wanted to do i just want to talk about like do i like these books do i think they're worth the hype because they're everywhere right now so that's what we'll find out. All right, time to go get ready and then let's go. So I thought it would be nice to make some kimchi jjigae for dinner because I have a bunch of leftover kimchi that my mom made me last time that I went home and it was really yummy but unfortunately it did go sour pretty fast because our fridge was set a little bit too high so I've just been using it to make other dishes which is fine because I love kimchi jjigae and pretty much any dish that you can make with kimchi. So yeah, I'm going to make some kimchi jjigae that just sounds nice tonight too just a bowl of kimchi jjigae and some rice so cozy so good and then it's finally time to curl up with my book
sorry. I thought you were somebody else for that. Everything I did, and I do all the time. Well, I had so much vacation time, the Grey House is happy you're back. So, now, we have a history. I can tell. Thought I'd do a little haul. I got, well, first of all, most importantly, my first read of the vlog is going to be The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst. So this is a book, a little cozy romanticy that is set in this world where magic is really gatekept. And if you're caught doing magic, the punishment is brutal. So, but it's not, that makes it sound dark. It's not particularly dark. It's very much like cozy, cute vibes, cottagecore vibes, if you will. Um, we follow this woman who works at a library and she thinks she's, you know, she's fine. She just kind of is ignoring the fact that she's feeling a bit lonely and she has her friend who is also a enchanted snake plant and they work at this library together but then there is a coup that happens, it overthrows the government and they have to go on the run. This all happens within like the first like five pages <laughs> but they have to go on the run. She wants to save as many of the books as possible because the library means a lot to her and so she takes as many books as she can and then she runs back to her hometown which is like this very small town off the beaten path. Also at Target I got a couple of these like super cheap little tank tops because honestly I just keep meaning to get some and the ones that I, I have like a couple but they're such bad quality and I just kind of wanted something that was nicer and these were so cheap but they're really really nice they're really soft the material is really nice and like sturdy so yeah I got that in like a nice off-white cream color and then also this really pretty green shade I don't really have anything in this color and I'm just kind of like wanting to be a little bit whimsy goth this fall like just sort of lean into the practical magic vibe of it all and then I also got distracted by H&M but they did have these really lovely off the shoulder sweaters that are so soft and nice and they're also like really inexpensive this was like $20 and it's so nice like it's so cuddly and I got it in an XXL because I wanted it a little bit more oversized I didn't want the shoulders to pop up at all and this like stays perfectly off the shoulder for me but the rest of the sweater is like kind of slouchy very cozy my other off the shoulder sweater is much more it's much tighter fit and then I did some damage at Bath and Body Works. I really wanted a warmer pumpkin scent, but I didn't want it to be too intense. I can't do like really intense, like Yankee Candle style candles. It's not really my vibe as much. And I smelled this one, which is white pumpkin. And I feel like this is the perfect, like gourmand bakery kind of scent super autumnal, but it's not too intense. So yeah, that was my little haul. And now I think I just want to curl up, watch a bit of The Good Witch, and then hopefully do a bit of reading. friends it is the next day and I spent last night and this morning just doing a lot of reading which has been delightful I'm currently on page 134 of the spell shop which is chapter what chapter am I on I think 12 chapter 12 and I'm really enjoying it it's really just so 
like warm and nice to read. It really is reminding me there's this Korean drama called Hometown Cha 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 that I really enjoyed and it's about this woman from the city who's like this big time dentist and she ends up moving to this tiny town um, to open a new dental office. It's just something about the relationship between this main character that is kind of reminding me of the relationship between the main characters in that show. I'd 100% recommend it if you're looking for like a cute cozy show. Definitely the woman in that show is very like ambitious and like a very different kind of character than Keela who is you know much more of a bookworm much shyer all of that um, but still I really am enjoying it I also think anyone who read Emily Wilde's encyclopedia will also really enjoy this one I feel like this character kind of also gives me Emily Wilde vibes yeah I'm just really liking it it's just a cute and cozy time. I just made a quick to-do list of things that I want to accomplish today. It is a Saturday, so not too many things, but at the top of my list I need to work on my voting plan because we are not that long out from, if you're in the U.S., from the election, and I just want to make sure that I know what I'm doing, that I'm registered, all of that stuff. So I have that on my to-do list, and then I need to do laundry because I have a friend who's coming to stay with me tomorrow, and she's going to be here for like a week, so I need to do laundry, do some cleaning, and then I need to do just some more like job application stuff. So those are my big plans for this Saturday and also just want to do a lot of reading this weekend. That's my big plan and now I'm going to go make some breakfast because I am quite hungry. So one of my favorite breakfasts is the easiest thing in the world to make. It's basically just like eggs and cottage cheese in a blender cup. I'm going to put four eggs and a cup or half a cup of cottage cheese. I need to remember. So happy literally as I was making breakfast my book arrived so let's unbox and I'll talk a little bit about the third book on my TBR for this vlog. It is this the pumpkin spice cafe honestly if you are on the autumnal side of social media you have definitely seen this book I feel like every single person has it in all of their videos and I am just so intrigued first of all the author's name is Lori Gilmore, which is very funny. The synopsis, when Jeannie's aunt gifts her the beloved pumpkin spice cafe in the small town of Dream Harbor, Jeannie jumps at the chance for a fresh start away from her very dull desk job. Logan is a local farmer who avoids Dream Harbor's gossip at all costs, but Jeannie's arrival disrupts Logan's routine and he wants nothing to do with the irritatingly upbeat new girl except that he finds himself inexplicably drawn to her. Will Jeannie's happy-go-lucky attitude win over the grumpy but gorgeous Logan, or has the city girl found the one person in town who won't fall for her charm or her pumpkin spice lattes? Very much giving Hallmark, giving Lorelai and Luke, and yeah, it just looks adorable. Hopefully I like it. I honestly was so hesitant to get this one. I just wasn't sure if I would like the writing, but I just kept seeing everywhere, and I was like, I have to know if I like it or not. And if I do like it, I'll be so happy because this looks and sounds adorable. And honestly, I've been watching The Good Witch recently, and it kind of just makes me want to read some like Hallmarky kind of books, so we'll see how I get on with this. Breakfast is ready. I have half of the egg bake that I made and then I also heated up a chicken sausage. So I'm gonna eat this and read some more of the spell shop while I do. This day has truly gotten away from me. So something that I have been has been on my to-do list for a minute and is probably on a lot of yours if you're in the US is to make sure I have a voting plan for this November. And if you haven't done this yet, I'll have a link down below where you can 
do this with me if you would like to. But basically, a few years ago, back in 2016, my vote wasn't counted. Um, I was living abroad in Paris at the time, and I had done a um, mail-in ballot, and I did something wrong. To this day, I don't know what I did wrong, but what I do know is that my vote wasn't counted, and it haunts me to this day. Granted, I was in New York, so I guess it wouldn't have made a huge difference, but it still <laughs> is the principle of the matter. Um, and so for me, I have taken it really seriously that every time when it's election season that I go through, I make sure that I know what I'm doing. If I need to vote in a weird way, I know how I do that. This year, I am staying put, not traveling at all. But if you are traveling, if you aren't going to be home when, when election day is happening, like there are options. You can vote early, you can mail in your ballot, but all of this stuff is stuff that you have to oftentimes plan in advance. I think one of the best things to do right now at least is to just make sure that you're registered. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to put in all of my info, which I will not be showing you guys. <laughs> And it's so easy. Like, I'm literally, I'm doing it in real time with you right now. Check my registration. And I am registered to vote. That's how fast that was. Once you have that, you can make a voting plan. That's also super easy. On vote.org, you can do all of this. You can check your registration. You can register to vote if you're not registered yet. You can request a mail-in ballot, see what's on your ballot get election reminders, all of this stuff. You could do it all on this one website. Everything takes seconds, seconds, guys. The amount of time that you just spent listening to me give this rant, you could have done all of these things. So I'm going to have that link down below for you so you can join me in voting this upcoming election. I'm excited to get out there and vote and vote for Kamala. <laughs> Anyways, now that I've done that, I need to do some cleaning up. I have a friend coming to stay here tomorrow, so I need to do some tidying. I am planning on doing laundry tomorrow morning, so I just put all of that together. So I'm going to set a Pomodoro 25-minute timer, and I'm going to use that and just tidy for the next, like, short break. timer just went off. I'm also so happy that I did that because I just found a bag of silver jewelry that I've been looking for for ages and I unearthed my little bed desk that I haven't used in ages because it's been covered in clothes that I've been meaning to go through and sell. But yeah, I'm feeling very good about that. I am now going to get my dinner and eat. Maybe watch that Mormon wife show that everyone's talking about and yeah that'll be my evening so i changed my mind i'm not watching the mormon wives show because i just realized agatha all along is out and i've been so excited for this spooky season is officially here guys i'm so hyped so it's the next day i ended up finishing the spell shop last night and i really enjoyed it i honestly like my expectations weren't super high because I think I've mentioned this. I don't know if I mentioned this, but I just like a lot of the times when something is described as like a cozy book, like cozy fantasy, whatever. I fear half the time I really do not like the writing, but I really, really, really enjoyed the spell shop. I thought it was so fun, so good. It like even had me tearing up a little bit at the end because it was just so wholesome. And yeah, it's just like genuinely good, fun fantasy, but it's just very much like super hope core, you know? <laughs> I really enjoyed this and I definitely want to check out more by this author. And then last night to help me fall asleep, I started reading You Again, which I'm feeling a little bit mixed about right now. I am not hating it, but I really dislike the main guy, Josh. I just find him like so insufferable and I'm just curious to see how she's gonna make me like want him with our main character Ari. Honestly, I kind of like don't love Ari either. Like I don't really love either of these characters, but I at least find Ari funny. Josh is just like 
frustrating, you know? So I don't know. We'll see. It's also not very much like not autumnal fall vibes, at least not yet so far. So I'll keep you posted on how I feel about this as I continue with it. And then today on the docket, I'm actually flying out tomorrow because I have a friend's wedding and then I'm going to Orlando to visit my friend Maureen. We're going to go to sweat tour together and Disney World, all that stuff. I'm very excited for all of it, but I have a lot on my to-do list today. So I need to pack and just get ready in general. I have an interview later this afternoon. So just lots to do. And then I still want to, I, like I want to finish you again and I want to at least start the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. So we'll see how far along I can get in all of this. So I just finished you again and I really liked it. Just ignore everything I said earlier. Oh my god, I was not expecting to enjoy this as much as I did, if I'm honest. Like, I was just expecting... I don't know, I feel like I often have a hard time connecting with the characters in romance novels. I have a hard time believing in their romance or finding anything about it to be romantic. And you can 100% tell that this author was inspired by Nora Ephron films and her characters just in the in the the growth that these two people go through over the course of this book was so well done and fun and it had me laughing and squealing and giddy and giggling and all those things and also screaming at the book like what are you doing it was just really really good really fun i will say at no point does it really like this cover makes you think this is going to be like ultimate fall vibes i think like if it was filmed like I would like it would feel like a very fall film because the backdrop of New York City would be fall. A lot of this book actually takes place across like a variety of New Year's across a few years. Um, but yeah, I just like those really intense like atmospheric vibes aren't really present with this one. But that's totally fine because the actual story itself was really fun and I totally got what the author was doing. I think the author was really successful. I also just loved the depiction of New York in this book. Like the whole thing takes place throughout the city and the main guy, Josh, his family runs like this New York institution deli. And honestly, that was like, I think that's what I loved so much about the character growth is like Josh's character specifically because like I said in the last clip like I found him really annoying, insufferable, frustrating but by the end I was like I love this guy. <laughs> so I feel like that really says a lot about this story and how well she crafts these characters. So I really enjoyed this. I think next I want to start the Pumpkin Spice Cafe. I have to go find my coffee and yeah give that one a start. I'm just feeling really good about my selections for this video. I was nervous going into it that these books would be overhyped but so far we're two out of three in terms of winners. I've really enjoyed both of these so hopefully I also enjoy Pumpkin Spice Cafe. I'll keep you posted. <music> So clearly I'm in a little bit of a different location. I had meant to finish out this vlog on the last day that I was filming, but honestly I ended up having really intense anxiety, like probably the worst I've had in a really long time. Um, so I ended up just like not 
wanting to be on camera that day or reading or anything like that and then the next day I was flying out to come visit Maureen in Orlando which I'm so happy to be here because I love seeing Maureen and of course I brought the pumpkin spice cafe with me and I read it on my journey so I'm like halfway through so I'll talk about that in a second but yeah I'm really excited to be here we are going to sweat tour today which I'm really excited for I've been once already I went to the show in Philadelphia and I posted like videos and things from that over on I have like a concert TikTok where I post like shows that I've been to and it was incredible like one of the I think one of the best concerts I've ever seen in my entire life and we were like barricade it was, in, it was insane so we're going to sweat tour tonight which I'm very excited for and then we had planned to have some Disney days but I did land and then as soon as I landed there was a news alert that there is now a state of emergency in Florida um, because of a hurricane that's coming through which is not a laughing matter but I tend to laugh when I'm nervous anyways I did try to see if I could like move flights and things like that but it would have cost an exorbitant amount of money so I think we're just hunkering down here throughout it so I probably will not document the whole thing <laughs> to be honest I'll probably just finish this book and then end this vlog but I just thought I'd update you on what's going on, where I'm at, what's happening. I never did update you though on Agatha all along, so I've caught up with the new two episodes and I am obsessed. It's so good. I think I like mentioned that I was gonna watch the new episodes like at the beginning of this vlog and then I just ended up reading instead, but I did end up watching them and I genuinely, I no spoilers, but I, I just think the show is so groundbreaking. Like it's, so in your face queer and like specifically to have women like that specifically almost all women like in their 40s and fit like and up and have them all be like incredibly hot and cool like ugh, it's just so good I love it so and it's like genuinely like a really good story and really fun and like so perfect for the season so if you're not watching it I highly recommend it's amazing but I have also been reading The Pumpkin Spice Cafe. I started it and I, this is like the book that is kind of like the prop of the moment. Like every single like cozy fall video has this book in it um, because it's, you know, it is very cute. But I haven't really seen many people like actually talk about the content, like if it's actually good or not. And I really like it so far. I'm genuinely so surprised. Like every single one of these books, I've been so shocked by how much I've enjoyed them. And I don't know if maybe my reading taste is just shifting and I'm like able to just enjoy fun things now or I don't know. But I like usually stories like the ones that I've been reading in this vlog, I tend to feel a bit let down by. I tend to want more from. And every single one of these has been like, really satisfying fun cozy reads i just really enjoyed i will say that this is very much like I, I feel like i'm kind of just reading a gilmore girls fan fiction like if it was just lorelei and luke's romance and there was no rory that's kind of what this book is feeling like to me and i'm i'm loving that like i'm all here for it it's so fun like the guy the the main guy is named logan and and i just like am picturing luke for every single thing he does because he has like the way he's described as like such luke vibes even like the author's name Lori gilmore <laughs> it's just funny anyways i'm enjoying it it's really cute very cozy almost like hallmark-y but like without the like conservative vibes that hallmark films can kind of have anyways enjoying it so far so i'm hoping to finish this today before we head out to sweat tour but we'll see and yeah i'm just gonna spend the rest of the day reading i think I'm back in New York City so I was in Florida for a few days I ended up coming back quite early because of the hurricane luckily everyone I know everyone who I'm staying with ended up being totally okay so very happy for that I will though put some links down below if you would like to 
give to some people who have been affected by the hurricane because that was really scary and horrible. I feel incredibly lucky that I was able to get out. I literally flew out 6 a.m. and Orlando Airport was closing that day at 8 a.m. and like stopping all flights. So yeah, I literally was the luckiest person in the world that day, I feel like. But I did want to come on here and end out this vlog. I really enjoyed making this. It definitely was a longer vlog than I had initially intended. I initially intended it for to be like a three day thing, but obviously anxiety in life sometimes gets in the way. But I wanted to talk a bit about the books that I read. So obviously I talked about you again already really enjoyed this one also the spell shop really enjoyed that so very happy would highly recommend either especially if you just want like a cozy autumnal read this season however i will say as i finished the pumpkin spice cafe i didn't love it quite as much i honestly about like halfway through just started getting like really bored and i feel like this is the kind of romance novel that i just don't really jive with as much for me personally i don't know i really want my romance novels to feel like love stories and i really want to like be able to really feel the character growth like you again honestly really opened up my eyes to the fact that i could really really love romance and it made me really excited to read more in the genre because i love how much character growth these two go through and yeah there are some moments of like miscommunication but those moments of miscommunication feel earned like they feel like this is what those characters would actually be doing because they have growth to be going through versus the miscommunication in this book just felt like pure plot device and just to like continue the story and I don't know it just didn't feel integral to like who the people were and I also just like as the story progressed to really just hyper focus on the two main characters I just found it less interesting because I kind of felt like they were less interesting like I loved the bits about the town I would have loved more of that just like the ambiance and everything that was really fun to read but the full story the romance just wasn't really hitting for me I also like found the spice scenes to be like really awkward for some reason but I mean it's not horrible by any means and it definitely has really strong autumnal Gilmore Girls vibes so if you want a book that is just really cute and simple and sort of more of a standard romance then I think this would not be a horrible one to pick up however personally I don't think this book would be nearly as popular as it is if it didn't have the title and the cover that it has that's just my personal opinion not my favorite but it might be some other people's faves so Anyways, I had so much fun putting together this cozy little reading vlog and I hope that you guys got some good book recommendations from it. I'd love to hear from you all. What are your favorite autumnal reads? Let me know in the comments because I definitely want to add some more to my TBR before the season is over, which I can't even believe I'm even thinking about that. But anyways, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye!